Sometimes, the stories that we think we know aren't the tales that actually happen. Maybe it's a matter of making the story more interesting, or maybe it's a matter of point of view. One thing I do know for sure is every story in the world has another way to look at it. Well? Okay, fatigue medium, dehydration high, temperature elevated. And that means? That Snow is still sick. You need another day in bed. No, 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 no. The power of the mind is stronger than the power of the flu. I will banish you from existence, insolent fire. Fire. <laughs> banish the virus tomorrow. Today, spend it in bed reading comics with Cudlio. Yay, perfect day. Yeah. <laughs> we have to go to the shop. Watch Snow. Make sure she rests. <clears throat> I'm resting, Mom. Call us if you need anything. OK. <laughs> OK. Comics, and then you guys rejoin the world. Snow, you heard your mother. No, I do not want to spend another day in bed. And yet, you have no choice. Sorry. I propose a story. Gather around, everyone. It's time we told Snow the story of how we met Snow the first. But I know this one. Apple, Prince, and more Apple. Here we go again. Always with the so-called Prince. I'm curious, Snow. Tell me the story you know. Everyone knows the story. The evil queen banishes Snow from the kingdom, and then everything is terrible. Then Snow White finds the seven dwarves, and then everything's great again, until the evil queen finds Snow again <laughs> and tries to poison her with an apple, and darn near kills her. And then everything's horrible, until a prince comes along and gives her a smooch and saves her life, and then everybody's happy again. <laughs> I knew it. She doesn't know the real story. There's another story? Is there ever? All right, Snow. This is the story of how we really met your ancestor. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were seven handsome and brilliant dwarves. supposed to tell me the real story. Yeah, all right, all right. Seven clever and scrappy dwarves who would come to the rescue of the enchanted forest's inhabitants. Wait a minute. How can Cadleo do all this only using his fingers? Shh. Hands are talking. We had a role in the forest unlike anyone else. We were the law-abiding renegades, and the forest needed us to maintain order. Who managed the big bad wolf? We did! For both Red Riding Hood and the three little pigs. Who found Cinderella when the prince was broken and desperate on the side of the road? We did! Who managed Rapunzel's tresses? We did! It's here! So when an expose was written about the power players of the fairy world, we were sure we'd get featured. After all, we had our hands in everything. Not a single word about us! This book contains nothing but lies. It was my potion that woke up Sleeping Beauty. A kiss to cure a curse. Whatever. The book speaks of fairies, godmothers, witches, even crickets. But not a word on everything we do to keep this place running. I'm going to write to the publisher. Surely it was an oversight. To whom it may concern, we, the Seven Dwarves, request that you make the following corrections to your publication. Number one. In conclusion, we look forward to seeing a revised copy of the book that includes these 452 corrections. Sincerely yours, The Seven Dwarves. 
There. Rather I tell the story in real time, that would take a week. Can we please move on? It appears no one is interested in the dwarves. According to this, princesses and baby animals sell books. Seven small men do not. I told you we should have done that, Calendar. <laughs> Is someone going to get that? You get it. I'm done helping. Answer it. I have a dozen pizzas on the way. The guy could be lost. A, a dozen, dozen pizzas? pizzas? What? I eat my feelings. Your Majesty the Queen. Whoa. You deliver pizzas now? No. Uh, actually, you know what? Never mind. I'll call the three little pigs. Maybe they can help. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't listen to him. <sighs> Fine. I have a terrible problem. Can you handle a terrible problem? Yes! Pick us! We're the best! Two words. Snow White. Snow White? What kind of pizza is that? Snow White. She threatens me. She torments me. She wants to steal my beauty. She wants to steal my kingdom. She wants to steal my... my good, kind heart. She mocks everything I hold dear. Help me. Help me free myself from the terrible, horrible Snow White. We'll help you, Your Majesty. Just a second, Your Majesty. I thought we weren't gonna come to everybody's rescue anymore. This poor queen is desperate. She needs us. My friends, think about it. This is the queen. So we're left out of the book. So what? We're on to bigger and better things. After this, everyone will know Mysterio and the Six Dwarves. Huh. Oh, fine. Have it your way. Just plain old Seven Dwarves. Point is, we need this. Did you actually just put the Queen on hold? No, of course not. Yes, where was I? Snow White. Her very existence threatens everything we hold dear. Find her. Bring her to me. Her stare makes my blood run cold. That's probably why they call her Snow White. She's clearly a witch. Be careful, but be quick. There's no time to lose. Just look at her. Brothers, a noble and perilous quest awaits us. You heard the Queen. We must not underestimate this Snow White. We have all we need, Your Majesty. Prepare us. Wait, back up. So you just slap Wanted on Snow White's face and then suddenly she's a criminal? Well, before meeting Snow White, we weren't the most sophisticated bunch. It's thanks to her we're the gentlemen that stand before you now. <laughs> right, brothers? <laughs> 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 Uh, anyway, we had every reason to believe Snow White was a horrible young lady. Oh, wait a minute. Something's different. Oh, it smells clean. This is not normal. Where are our dirty dishes? Where are our bags of knickknacks and spare shoes? Snow White has been here. She's using good cleanliness to intimidate us. But we won't back down. I'm going to set my multifunction detector to horrible young thief that cleans everything. Uh-oh. She's left the house. She's now in the forest. We'll find her in no time. Well, did you catch Snow White? Not yet. We've got to stop meeting this way. How about now? 
Still no. <sighs> How hard can it be to catch a princess? They're soft and delicate. They practically melt in the rain. A princess? Uh, Snow White is a princess? I can't hear you. Bad reception. Um, <laughs> I'm going through a dungeon. <laughs> What the? If I were you, I'd look there. Go there. Or maybe there. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. I'm really wondering why the Queen calls Snow White a princess. I had a blinking dot right here that just vanished. It can't be any failure from this piece of technology. That is bizarre indeed. She's not here either. Only bees. Yeah, only bees up there. What if we were looking for the wrong Snow White? What if she were a princess instead of a thief? Well, you have to tell me. My device needs to be programmed very precisely. I told you it wasn't a device failure. What if we'd been misled from the beginning? We'd better head home, fellows. We'll continue our search tomorrow. Uh, I'm okay. Something doesn't add up. Why didn't the Queen tell us Snow White is a princess? And if she is a thief, why didn't she steal anything? Our house is full of treasures. Speaking of which, the Queen never told us what she took from her. I've interviewed Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Rapunzel, and even the Big Bad Wolf. Not only is Snow White not a pizza, but she's a princess, and she's also the Queen's daughter-in-law. Uh, it is time to pay the Queen a little visit. On the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Must we do this every day? All right, my queen. I hear and I obey. Searching. There is one result. The fairest one in all the land is Snow White. What? Oh, competent dwarfs. It's taken forever to bring her back. Hi. Um, we're not here right now. We might be gone for a hundred years or so. So, in the meantime, if you have a question about dwarfs, press 1. If you want a photo of Deco, ah! press 1. <sighs> if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Dear little Snow White, you'll never outshine me again. The Queen tricked us! Snow White is innocent, and she's in great danger! We need to warn her! Fast! Uh, this, uh, this tunnel will lead us straight to the forest. I designed the castle's blueprints. In fact, this is no secret passage. It's a garbage chute. Oh, hence the smell. No, it's just the camembert sandwich I found in my shorts. I should have known you'd be here. Your favorite landscape. How romantic. Don't come any closer. Oh, don't be afraid. I actually came to apologize. When I said, leave the kingdom forever, I didn't actually mean forever. It was a busy time. A stressful time for all of us. Not for me. Hungry? I am. Wait, I know this story. Let me finish it. No, you just know the story with the stupid prince. No, I'm telling you, I figured it out, okay? I doubt it. Then how would you know? I told you I she'd mean, figure it really, out. If you just listen to what I'm saying. Go ahead, Snow. Snow White was no fool. A poison apple? You can't be serious. Fine. 
then we shall have to battle. Oh, it's on, Queenie. I am the fairest. You aren't the fairest. And you're not the fastest. And you're definitely not the most fun. Dodge this. You don't scare me, not for one second! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not exactly how it happened. Fine, maybe Snow the First wasn't a ninja space warrior. But I promise you, she did not get pushed around by the Evil Queen. Yes, but there is no such thing as energy balls. Oh, come on, Brainio. The story is so much better this way. Meanwhile, the brave dwarves were still running in the tunnel. We'll never get to the queen. We have to do something. I may have a solution. Slugs drool. <laughs> Slugs drool? Just what? <laughs> a great idea, Mysterio, but how do we stop? No idea. <laughs> What are you looking for? Life is not a fairy tale, you know. Prince Charming's not going to fall from the sky and save you. Uh, what are you doing here? I mean, uh, help, save me. Snow White is attacking me. You <coughs> are under arrest. Small, small, brave man. You terrify me. Come to save little Snowy, have we? I'd like to see how. I don't need anybody to save me. I can take care of myself. Stop, those apples are dangerous. Hungry? <gasps> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs were the best friends in the whole world. That's exactly what happened. But how did you know Snow White never ate the apple? And that she was never saved by a prince. Well, I felt it. And I've heard that other story a thousand times, but when you were telling me this one, it was like I knew Snow White like I know me. And I just hate the other stories where the girl always has to be rescued by the prince. In this story, the girl saves herself. That's my girl. Did you hear the story? The evil queen almost won. I I'm not sure I can recover. Oh, come on, Marco. You've heard this story a thousand times. Let's go. The pastries won't sell themselves. What? What, what about Prince Charming? He was, was there too, right? Right? Honey? Honey? Sure, you can help somebody else who will write you in a book. But isn't it better to write your own story? <laughs> <laughs>